bro. I think Donovan Mitchell is staying. I think really? Donovan staying. The only reason why I say that, and y'all tell me what y'all think about this, though, the Lakers, with the reports from now saying that they're going off to Trey Young in the offseason, I think mm-hmm. they know Donovan Mitchell is staying, which is why they're going after Trey. Uh, you're assume, or you're assuming that they that if if they if they could have their choice, they'd go after Donovan Mitchell because they think he's staying. They're going after Trey Young. That's what you're saying. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, a good, it's good logic. I just feel like, why the hell would he stay in Cleveland? It's just bad for business. <laughs> why would you stay? Like, I don't think, I don't think, I don't believe. I'm, I'm gonna believe that when I see it, yo. Yo, yeah. he stay in Cleveland. That's insane, yo. I, I, I think. Come on, bro. Like, yo, those shoes he he made don't even sell already. And then you gonna be in Cleveland, like you. And the worst part about it is he started in Utah. Now he's in Cle- Now he's in Cleveland. So when are you gonna get a chance to go play in a big market where people can actually see you and like appreciate how great you are? He's having. He's doing all this on um, playing amazing, playing the best basketball of his life. He's probably the best player in the world right now, or top two, top three. What one of the best? Just on the streak, anyways. And no one talks about it. They don't even talk about it on the jump. On that, you know, they don't even talk about it there. Kendrick Perkins, the Shanae, they ain't even talking about it on that show. Think about it. Like, he's a, no one talks about this, and he's playing. He knows he's playing the best basketball of his life. You got to think when he's sitting there at home and he's contemplating what he's going to do next. I think he, all those things are going to come into come into his mind. Like, you know, why, why would I stay here? I go anywhere else. They're going to pay attention to me. Anywhere else, they pay attention to what I'm doing. Imagine if he did it in the, with the Knicks. Oh, I mean, my God, it'd be a, it would be hysteria. But if he does leave, it has to be the Knicks. I don't think he's coming to the Lakers. I I don't see it. And from what I was reading too, like. The Lakers, they mindset is having Trey, a Trey and Anthony Davis two-headed monster for post LeBron. You don't sound excited about that. I don't know. You, I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think in the short term that could be win you a championship though with LeBron there. You know, which is oh, probably worth this weight. If LeBron there, yes, but once LeBron leaves, it's uh, it gonna get a little. It gonna get a little weird. And, and I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Although the pick and roll would be nasty. But I understand what you're saying, and I understand that Trey Young is off the court. Trey Young, if you're if you're trying to trade Trey Young, it's because of who he is in the locker room. It's not because of his game, obviously. And also, he doesn't play defense. He don't even try. So I understand. I understand the knocks about him, but uh, him playing with LeBron in, in AD, I mean, that would be a, that would be something special. Um, this floor spacing would be wild. And if you didn't have to give up Reeves, which you're going to have to, understandably so. But you know, with some some good pieces around you and I think they'll have enough after the trade it could be a really really good team at least for two years while LeBron's you know in the twilight and LeBron gets a little break you know you get a guy who can go get 50 with with you you know it, it's a good situation and in, for in the intermediate future but obviously long term we know how that looks um but as far as Mitchell goes man you got to get up out of there and I feel like Miami's gonna be in a suitor for him I do think Brooklyn's gonna go after him, him hard just because everything that Marcus has said I just believe they are I know it's crappy over there but I, I the rumor is guys are gonna play with Macau. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Macau's even still there. Who knows? Um, if he survives all this nonsense, if he wants to stay, but they'll go, they'll be a suitors too. So Brooklyn and Miami are two other options for him. And we'll see what happens. We'll see. But yeah, I'll tell you this: either way, either place, no matter where you go, and I'd rather go to Miami, just being real. But either way, no matter where you go, your spider three is gonna sell a little bit more. They're gonna talk about you a little more, and they're gonna be nicer colorways of your sneakers. You know what I'm saying? You could probably re- revamp them, right? But you do that in Cleveland, and you ain't selling no shoes. You're probably gonna be single because who the hell are you gonna meet in Cleveland? You know, it's it's a bad situation <laughs> living in Cleveland. They ain't nothing good about it. So he really should consider getting the heck, getting out of there. Come on, Tony, you wouldn't want to stay there if you was him. You getting out of Cleveland? You ain't doing that to yourself. I don't, all the millions in the world ain't making you happy in Cleveland. 